Okay. Real talk. Uh, Snapchat got me feeling old. Am I too old for Snapchat? Huh? What? Is this how you work this thing? Is this on? That's pretty much how I feel uh, trying to learn Snapchat. I mean, right now, we are sitting here looking at some YouTube tutorials on how to use Snapchat and a uh, uh... I'm over it. <laughs> I'm done. I can't. This is part of building a biz. Biz these days, there is a social component, social media component. And the whole reason why we're even posting this video is we're trying to build this business. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the social media landscape, we're a little bit lost. Bear with me. Facebook has made things particularly challenging for marketers, for people who are trying to create a business when you're just starting. If you have an established business, paying a couple of bucks for some ads to get to your audience that you've built and cultivated a relationship with over time, maybe not that bad of an idea. I could see the point in doing that. But when you're just starting out, like we, we haven't started a Facebook page yet for Two Broke Travelers. The thought of paying to possibly get people just to visit and want to know what you're talking about, it's difficult. Well, Facebook has done it again. Apparently, uh, they're turning Instagram into Facebook Junior. We all knew that they bought Instagram some time ago, and it was only a matter of time before they uh, Facebookified it, and it seems like they have. Uh, we've gotten a few messages today from different people who have businesses saying that there's some big changes that have happened uh, to Instagram. Either they've already happened, or they will be happening yeah. soon. It's, I don't know. And so it's going to be more and more challenging for people who are following you on Instagram to actually see what you've posted in their feed. How they're going to get around that, I don't know, mm -hmm. which leads us to Snapchat. Snapchat has been around for a while. I know that. I've been avoiding it. I'll admit that. But now it feels like I have to get into it a whole lot faster than I was even ready to do, in addition to all the other things that I'm trying to learn how to do. Am I the only one? No. Is it, is it just me? Is it just we? Puppy dog eyes, I, I don't know if I'm doing it right. That's squinting. <laughs> but we're gonna get it. We've talked about some practical uses that we can have for Instagram, but good grief, man. If you have any tips on how to use it, any YouTube tutorials. That would be helpful. Please comment below. Yeah, right right there, there, right there. Let us know what those tutorials are. I mean, we're searching, we're looking, we're trying to do our thing, but uh, you see, we avoided spending a whole lot of money last week with our car. Thank goodness we saved two fifty. Do fifty. But it seems like we're gonna be spending that money now buying programs, trying to learn how to do stuff, just trying to build a business. Like right now, I miss black and white TV. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration. That is an exaggeration. It's an exaggeration. You but... could say you miss cassettes, Saturday morning cartoons. Good old days. Yeah, that part. We're vintage. Oh well. Back to the drawing board. Friends, how many of us have them? Can you tell someone's excited to be driving? He kind of fought me on this one. You ever been so tired where you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna lay down for like a couple of minutes and then it's like a half sleep? That's how I nap. I got lines, I don't know if you can see it. I, we, I got a happy message, happy little text message this afternoon. Uh, Phoenix has been home for the last few years, yeah? Technically. Technically. That's what my driver's license says. But because of our living circumstances the last two years, we've spent a good amount of time in California. So this morning, I was kind of feeling like, man, I really miss California faces. I really do. I miss just knowing I'm closer to some of those friends and family. 
And so to get this text message of, hey, are y'all in town? <laughs> the fact that people have to ask if we're in town, I'm like, oh, we've been so all over the place, yes. So some friends are in town, they hit us up and we're on our way to go and spend a little bit of time with them. And I am like really uber excited that woke me up out of my dead sleep when I saw that she had texted me. I thought I had like really missed the window of when we needed to leave the house. So I'm happy. So you guys, um, quick random thought I wanted to share is when you're on the road traveling and stuff. And I know, I know when we're in certain places, sometimes you're on a time crunch, but I know it just means a lot when you just even throw it out there to people to see if they're busy to see if they can come and meet up with you for a few minutes. So I just thought about that, you know, or even sometimes just a quick little text message from someone that lives out of town makes you happy. Friends! <laughs> do, 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 do. So follow up real quick to my happy joy joy weekend. So it wasn't just a person from California. It was many people from California that made it into an awesome weekend. Complete surprise. So I have had this emotional high from Saturday to Sunday to Monday to we came and been getting wonderful anniversary wishes. Thank you, you guys. Cards and all kinds of love. And we went and we got our mail. I mean, it's a card that sings. So I was like, can this just get any better? And then um, it peaked. <laughs> and I had an emotional low yesterday, um, kind of family related. And so today it's carried over some work stuff, non-related to two broke travelers, um, just dealing with that. And then I told Carlton, you know what would make me happy? The KFC Nashville hot chicken. And so I went and I bought it and then he took it and he fixed it up with some cheesy mac and cheese spaghetti style. He's standing off to the side. Hi.